What is up Cryotics? In this video we'll be talking about this week's Triple Money Event Week as well as the property and vehicle discounts. This event week is for June 10th through June 16th, 2021. The current casino podium vehicle is the Overflot Entity XF. The overall design of this car is primarily based on the Koenigsegg CCX. And it's kind of funny how we had the XXR version last week on the podium, and now we have the OG Entity on the podium. I find that kind of funny how they put them back to back. But anyways, the Entity XF has a base price of $795,000, so it's not a crazy expensive supercar, and that's because it's an OG vehicle from 2013. So, Now this car is in the supercar class and used to be one of the fastest in that class around most tracks, but obviously that has changed over the past 8 years and the Entity is now around 30th place in that class, so a lot has definitely changed. And in terms of customization, this car is pretty average in terms of what you can expect from a 2013 vehicle. But anyways, for those of you who originally paid full price for the Entity XF and are not happy about it being on the podium, you can still take the one you originally purchased and sub it for about 600000 depending on your upgrades and how much you paid for it originally. So is the Entity XF worth attempting to win by spinning the lucky wheel over and over this week? Well in this case, this isn't a multi-million dollar car. so. Getting about $600,000 for the one you originally bought, and then getting the Casino Podium one for free, and then spending about $300,000 to re-upgrade it, your profit is only going to be about $300,000, so, so I definitely wouldn't spend too much time spinning the wheel this week because you can definitely make that difference in profit somewhere else. So starting off with the property discounts, we have 50% off the CEO offices as well as the upgrades and renovations for them this week. For those of you who don't know, this is a must buy for most businesses in the game and something I highly recommend if you don't own one already. Next up, we have 30% off the vehicle cargo warehouses, this is what you use for import export. This property is needed for that business and getting it on sale is pretty incredible as these rarely go on sale. Moving on to vehicle discounts, we have 40% off the 770. So this car is in the sports car class and is one of the older sports cars from 2016. It doesn't have much customization, but its top speed is pretty decent, and its handling is pretty good as well on flat roads. But nonetheless, it's pretty slow in 2021 and only worth having if you like the way it looks. Moving along, we have 40% off the 811. So this car is in the supercar class and currently still holds the highest top speed record in that class on highway surfaces, but unfortunately the 811 has pretty awful handling. The best way I can describe it is that it handles almost like a muscle car, it's a very strange driving experience. The Devest 8 in comparison is only one mile per hour slower in terms of top speed and the handling is way better. Next up, we have 40% off the Sterling GT. So this car is in the Sports Classics class and used to be one of the fastest in that class around most tracks. The Sterling GT has the beautiful gold wing doors and one of the best exhaust notes in the game in my opinion with the cracks and pops you let off the throttle. It handles like a sports car as well. It's just an overall awesome car to own and drive. The only thing I don't really like about it is the generic muscle car interior that they gave it, but other than that, it's one of my favorite sports classics cars in the game. Moving on to the Warstock website, we have 35% off the Strike Force. I personally don't find this plane that useful for combat, as most players will agree the gun is pretty weak, but there are some players out there who do find it pretty useful. Also keep in mind that you need to own a hangar property in order to buy this plane. Moving on to Velitas Travel's website, we have 35% off the Volatis. So this helicopter used to have the highest top speed in the class, but after the Sparrow came out with the Kasaka submarine, the regular Sparrow, that one does have the highest top speed now, so the Volatis is now second. But honestly, it's still a really good looking helicopter and one of my favorites in game. So that's it for vehicle discounts, only 5 vehicle discounts this week, which honestly really surprised me. We've been getting pretty good event weeks back to back in terms of discounts and all that, but this time they only gave us 5 discounts, but at least they put some decent cars on there this time around, but I guess we'll see what happens next week. In terms of free items, we have free drinks at all bars in game again this week. In terms of login items, you can get this Vinewood Boulevard Radio t-shirt for free just for logging in this week, which is pretty cool. 
And in terms of special discounts, all Pegasus delivery fees are free this week, which is pretty cool. So you can call as many Pegasus vehicles as you want from your phone absolutely for free. In terms of triple money, we have triple money NRP on the adversary mode extraction, which is pretty cool. In terms of double money, we have double money NRP on VIP work and challenges as well, which is very good for those of you who grind money in free mode. Next up, Simeon's vehicle export requests are double money as well, which I guess is okay, but those barely pay out any money anyways, but I guess maybe if you're a brand new player in game and you don't own anything, <laughs> this would be a pretty good option to start making money in game. Next up, we have double money NRP on bodyguard and associate salaries as well for those of you who help out your friends' businesses. And lastly, the best for last, we have double money NRP on vehicle cargo sell missions, aka import export. So finally, I'm glad this is back. It's been a while since they last did this, and I know this was a very popular request from the community for a long time for them to bring it back. Now, I will say that Guy Open Equal is still a better way of making money, but this is still a great alternative for those of you who want to do something a little different. And maybe you already own this property and you don't own the Kasaka submarine to do Guy Open Equal. This is a great way of making money. As I stated earlier, the properties from this business are on sale as well, the vehicle warehouse, so it's a great time to get into this business if you haven't already. Moving on to the Prime Game Bandits House or Prime Game Members only, I'll leave instructions in the pinned comment on how to become a Prime Game Member if you aren't one already. So we have 80% off the 190Z. This car is in the Sports Classics class. It has pretty amazing customization and great detail in terms of its interior and engine model. Just a great all-around show car. Obviously it's not very fast, but that's not what it's intended for. It's just a great car to customize and bring to car meets. Next up, we have 80% off the Bestia GTS. So this car is in the sports car class, and I personally noticed that it's a pretty forgotten sports car to the general GTA community. If you drive this thing around or bring it to a meet, more often than not, someone will ask what it is or if they see it in your garage randomly. In terms of performance and upgrades, it's not very good, but I think owning it for the rarity of it is pretty cool. And lastly for Prime Gaming, we have 60% off the Nimbus. So this is a normal Pegasus plane, and honestly, I don't really see any reason of owning it. But if you've always wanted this one for some reason, I guess now's your chance to get it at a discount. Also, don't forget guys, you just flew on game this week as a Prime Gaming member, you'll get a free $100,000, which is pretty cool. And yes, it used to be $200,000, but Rockstar changed it to $100,000 for some reason. And the Sonar Station upgrade discount is finally removed as well, so... Thankfully, we don't have to mention that one anymore in future videos. Again, guys, if you don't see the discounts on the vehicles I mentioned, it's because you don't have your Prime Gaming account linked to your social club. Again, all the information on how to do that is down below in the pinned comment. And lastly, we have, of course, the RC Bandito Time Trial Cemetery. This week's normal time trial is Mount Gordo. I highly recommend either the Hakachu Drag, Shotaro, or Batty 801 for that time trial. And this week's premium race is the supercar race downtown underground. I highly recommend either the Emerus, Krieger, S80RR, or Wagner for this race. Every Friday I post a guide on how to easily beat the time trials and premium race, so stay tuned for that if you're new. Anyways guys, hope this was helpful. Overall this event week is pretty good in terms of property discounts and double money opportunities as well, but not so great in terms of vehicle discounts. I feel like that's where it's lacking a little bit. But again, still a very good week overall. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.